Kia ora all, welcome to Mr Quiz, the channel where we play quizzes. I have a really, really, really fun looking quiz today. It's a Venn diagram, but it is significantly harder than any Venn diagram I've seen before. So we're going to have 20 minutes for this, and it looks almost as much as a puzzle as it does kind of a quiz. Basically, if you haven't seen a Venn diagram before, each of these um, little sections of the graph or shape uh, correspond to criteria which is unique for each country so for example this section here will only have an African country which doesn't meet any of the other criteria if you're confused it's fine uh, it'll become abundantly clear once I click play I hope and as always the quiz link will be in the description below have a go yourself and let me know how you did before uh, you watch this video okay so we've got 20 minutes no time to rush but this is going to take a little bit of um brain power to work out so for example, Malawi, we know, has to be in the African square, so it can't be here. Um, it is landlocked. Its flag does not contain white. Uh, its capital is the long way, so it's not going to be here. And it doesn't speak a Romance or Slavic language. So it's going to be African and landlocked. Um, okay, what I'm going to do first is I'm going to do the petals first of all, I think. So, for example, I'm looking for a country which is African but doesn't fit any of the other criteria. And I think the easiest way to do it is going to be to work in from there. I think there's also a square for ones which are one country which doesn't meet any of the criteria. But that should become fairly obvious. Okay, um, just thinking, I'm not sure I'm going to be super confident on my flags, but um, maybe we'll leave that to last. Okay, so Switzerland, for example, is landlocked and it contains white, so let's move on. I'm just going to... Ethiopia is African and landlocked. Moldova is landlocked and speaks Slavic language or Romance because I speak Romanian there as well. Let me just check if there's criteria on this. So coats of arms and other symbols of flags count towards the list of colours. A country that speaks a certain language in this case must have that language as an official or de facto language. Okay. So I don't need to specify what's official and what's de facto as long as they speak it there. So in Moldova, for example, it'll be um, they speak well, Romanian, right, mostly. Um, although they call it Moldovan. I think I've had that argument before. Anyway, let's move on. Uh, Botswana is African and landlocked. China is not African, not landlocked. Flag doesn't contain white. Capital ends with a G. It doesn't speak a Romance or Slavic language. Okay, so presumably China is the outside one. Excellent. We are one down, which is excellent. Uh, let's see now. Okay, Belgium is not African, not landlocked, doesn't contain white. Its capital ends with an S, but it does speak a Romance language, meaning French, which is excellent. Chad is African and landlocked. New Zealand is not African, not landlocked. Flag does contain white, and the capital ends with an N, so not an A, R, or U. So New Zealand, presumably, is going to have to be here. Great. Every time I press this, I get super nervous, just because... um. You know, like, this is not a minefield, but I would like to get 100%. Okay, Malaysia is not African or landlocked. But its capital does end with an A. Oh, but I also have to factor these ones in. And its flag contains white, so let's move on. Burundi is African. Okay, and landlocked, so let's move on. Cote d'Ivoire is African. Flag contains white. Cabo Verde is African. Uh, I'm trying to think of the flag of Cabo Verde. Cabo Verde, I think it contains white. Capital ends with an A anyway. Uganda is African and landlocked. Mexico is flag contains white and speaks a Romance or Slavic language, Spanish in this case. Morocco, African. Uh, oh. Does that speak a Romance language? Like, <coughs> sorry, excuse me. Um, <coughs> sorry, I'm just getting over a, a cold. Had it for a week or so, hence the lack of videos recently. Um, just thinking if they're going to count Morocco as speaking French or Spanish. Probably. Okay, Liechtenstein is landlocked. Flag doesn't contain white. Capital ends with a Z. Doesn't speak a Romance or Slavic language because they speak German and is not African. So presumably this must be Liechtenstein. Fantastic. Um, and now we're just going to look for... One which is either just African or capital ends with these letters. So Gabon is 
Libreville. They do speak French in Gabon, though, right? So, um, it's not going to be it, presumably. Uh, Africa, Inu is African, not landlocked. Plague does contain white, though. Bahamas is not African, not landlocked. Flag doesn't contain white. Capital, which is Nassau, does end in U, but it doesn't speak a Romance or Slavic language, so this should be this one here. Fantastic. And then, uh, okay, Mali is, hold on, let me just, what did I have before? Gabon. Okay, so Gabon is African. It's not landlocked, its flag does not contain white, its capital does not end in one of these. Oh, we were saying it does speak a Romance or Slavic language. See, my head is going to get all full of um, negatives and double negatives. Um, right, okay, so Mali is landlocked and African, so I'm looking for a country which is just African and doesn't fulfill any of the other criteria. Uh, Nigeria flag contains white, Mongolia, Uzbekistan, Colombia. DRC speaks a Romance language, being French, not that one. Tanzania, trying to picture the flag of Tanzania. Doesn't contain white, but capital does end with A. Austria, right, and back to Malawi, right? I'm missing this one here. Let's just give it one more round quickly. An African country, Ethiopia is landlocked, Botswana is landlocked. Chad is landlocked, Burundi is landlocked, Cote d'Ivoire, lake contains white, Cabo Verde, capital starts with A, Uganda is landlocked, Morocco is not landlocked, mm, maybe this is Morocco here then possibly. Yeah, because I had Morocco and Gabon kind of in that same situation, didn't I? That's okay. We can come back to this. It's not a not a huge deal. Okay. Uh, Nigeria, Mongolia, Kyrgyzstan. Right, okay. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to do the countries which uh, fulfill two criteria. So I'm going to start with the ones which are not African. So I'm looking for something which speaks a Romance or Slavic, Slavic language and is landlocked. Okay. Well, actually, no, let's do, let's do this. Okay, so Austria, we know, is landlocked. Flag contains white. Capital ends with an A, but it doesn't speak a Romance or Slavic language. So we need to find the section which is landlocked. Flag contains white, and its capital ends with an A, but none of the others. So potentially this one. So this is landlocked. Flag contains white. Doesn't have capital ends with an A. Okay, so this is landlocked. Flag contains white. Capital ends with an A. But not African and not Romance or Slavic. Let's just think about this. Yeah, that should be right. Austria, perfect. Andorra is landlocked. Flag does contain white in its coat of arms. Ends with A, because the capital is Andorra La Vea, and speaks of Romance language in Catalan. So it's everything except for African. Oh gosh, where can we find this? Okay, so not here. Not here. Possibly here. Okay, so this is landlocked. Flag contains white. Capital wins with A and speaks a Romance language. This should be Andorra. Perfect, we're filling it in. Switzerland, we'll keep going. It is landlocked. Flag contains white. Speaks a Romance or Slavic language, but doesn't have the capital ends with A, R, or U because it ends with. N being burn. So this is landlocked. Okay, what about here? Landlocked, Romance or Slavic, and flag contains white. Excellent. Uh, we've been going for just under, over eight and a half minutes now. Moldova, landlocked. Does flag contain white? Maybe not. Yeah, because we said Andorra was landlocked, flag contains white, capital ends with a A and speaks of Romance. So Moldova speaks a Romance language, which is Romanian slash Moldovan, is landlocked, and I guess the flag doesn't contain white. I'm just trying to picture it. I don't think it does. And its capital ends with a U. So 
we need the one where the flag doesn't contain white. Like, so somewhere down here, possibly. But that's African. So is this one only three? Yes, should be. Oh! How did I get that wrong? Oh, because I didn't do the landlocked one. Okay, anyway, you can see how this is complicating things. Uh, Malaysia, not African, landlocked. African, it's not landlocked. Flag contains white and capital city ends with an A. So this is two of them. So it should be just these ones, presumably. Excellent. Sorry for the mistake. I know you're probably screaming at the screen as I was about to click that saying, no, no, no. Um, but I told you it was going to be hard. <laughs> okay, let's move on and try and get 31 out of 32 without our freebie. Mexico, not landlocked. Flag contains white. And it speaks a Romance or Slavic language. So we need one which is just going to intersect with these two only. How are we going to manage this? Here, possibly? Okay, so this is outside the circle for this one, outside the circle for this one, and outside the circle for African. So it should be Mexican. Okay, Hungary is landlocked. Flag contains white. No, and no, because Hungarian is a... Um, not a Slavic language. Um, so that's going to be landlocked and flag contains white. Should be there. Perfect. Kenya, Mali, Nigeria, Mongolia. Landlocked. Do they speak a Romance or Slavic language? I guess not. The capital city ends with an R. Okay, so that should be there. Uh, Kyrgyzstan, they speak, is Kyrgyz a Turkic language? That would make it landlocked, flag doesn't contain white, capital city doesn't end in AR or U, but it does speak a Romance or Slavic language. Unless they're counting Russian here, maybe they are, because it can't just be landlocked. Okay, so in that case it's going to be landlocked and speaks a Slavic language, so that'd be this one, right? Perfect. Okay, we have almost knocked over all the non-African countries now. Uh, Colombia flag doesn't contain white. Capital does end with A and it speaks a Roman or Slavic language. It doesn't fulfill any of these, so it should be these two. Excellent. There should be one more non-African country, which is Peru, which is flag contains white. Lima speaks a Roman or Slavic language. Okay, perfect. So only one small mistake so far. Apologies again. Um, 16 to go, which are all African countries. This is going to be a nightmare. Okay, so let's start from the bottom up. We're looking for an African country which capital ends with A, but doesn't fulfill the others. So Tanzania is... should be here, I think, right? That was lucky. Because it's African, the capital is Dodoma. Doesn't speak a Romance language, speaks English or um, indigenous languages. It's not landlocked and its flag doesn't contain white. Perfect, okay. Uh, Malawi is African, landlocked, flag doesn't contain white. Kigali is the capital, which ends with I. This should just be African, landlocked. Great, okay. I'm not super worried about time just yet, but we do have to keep an eye on it. Ethiopia is African, landlocked, and the capital ends with A. That's Addis Ababa. So I need to get one which is not white and not here. Okay, maybe here. That's in the African circle, in the landlocked circle, and in the capital ends with A circle. Brilliant. Okay, we're getting there. 13 to go. Botswana. African, landlocked. Lay contains white. Capital doesn't end with this one. It doesn't speak this. So it's going to be these three. How are we going to manage this? Here, right? African landlocked and white, but not the language one and not this one. Great, okay. Chad is African landlocked. No, no. So it does speak a Romance language, which is French. So this will be African landlocked and French.
Oh, gosh. I can't see it. Okay, Burundi is African, landlocked. Lake contains white. Capital is Gatega, or used to be Bujumbura, so even if it's not been updated, it's still both of its capitals fit this crew. And it speaks a Romance language, because it's French. Okay, well, they speak French to you, so that should be the one right in the middle. It is fantastic. I'm pleased that one's out of the way. Cote d'Ivoire is African, flag contains white, speaks a Romance language, and the capital is Yamasukuro, which ends in a U. So it's everything except landlocked. Is that down here then? I think this is right. Ah, oh, really? They're saying the capital doesn't end in a U. Maybe I just completely got that wrong in my head. I apologise. The capital is Yamasukuro, um, which I thought ended OU, but... Maybe not. My mistake. Um, Cabo Verde is African, speaks Portuguese, capital is Prior, and I think the flag contains white. So maybe this is the one we thought that, um, I'm not so sure about the flag. I'm thinking maybe this is the one we thought was Cote d'Ivoire, but maybe not. Okay, Uganda is African, landlocked, flag contains white, capital ends with A, but doesn't speak a Romance or Slavic language. Okay, so is that going to be... Let's just be careful here. No, it can't be here because it's going to be landlocked. It's going to be one of these two. African landlocked. Yeah, it should be there. Perfect. Morocco we weren't sure about because of the whole Spanish-French thing. C-A-R is African landlocked. Flag contains white. Capital city doesn't end with one of these. But does speak Romance or Slavic language because it speaks French. So that'll be... Uh, one of these three. Here? Yes, perfect, okay. Less than four minutes to go. Gabon is African. No, flag doesn't contain white. The capital is Libreville. Oh, could be one of these. Here? Yes, excellent. That's good, good news. Kenya is African... Flag does contain white, right? Because it's got a shield. Uh, okay, so it's just African and flag contains white. Excellent. Uh, Mali, okay. African landlocked. Flag doesn't contain white. Do they speak a Romance language there? They do, because they speak French, I think, right? Or maybe not. Nigeria. Okay, let's do Nigeria, because I know that for sure. African capital is Abuja, which ends with an A, and the flag does contain white, but it's not landlocked. And it doesn't speak a Romance or Slavic language, so it should be this one. Great, 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 okay. And imagine how awesome this would be if I had no mistakes up to this point. This, this one was uh, annoying, and this one was, um, this one was my fault, just not putting it in the right place. And the Cote d'Ivoire one was just um, getting something wrong. Okay, DRC, African, speaks a Romance or Slavic language, but it's not landlocked. Capital city is Kinshasa, and the flag doesn't contain white, so it should be here. Great, okay, Chad is African and landlocked, so it has to be one of these two. And then the only question is if the Injamina, which is here, because we're saying it does speak French, okay. Cabo Verde is not landlocked, so it has to be this one or this one, but it does speak a Romance or Slavic language, Romance meaning Portuguese, and it does have white in the flag, okay? And Morocco is not landlocked, so we're going to have to say Morocco is here. So they did say Morocco doesn't speak a um, Romance language, so I guess it's not counting French or Spanish, even though I'm sure a huge amount of the population do speak it, just not officially. And de facto language means um, it's the official, unofficial language, I guess. Like, for example, the US doesn't have an official language, but English is the de facto language. Um, and Mali will be landlocked, speaks French, African. Capital starts with O, so it's outside the circle, and the flag doesn't contain white. 
All right, 30 out of 32. I'm sure some of you would have beaten me, in which case, well done. If you find any other quizzes like this, any kind of puzzle stuff, either on Sporkle or elsewhere, please put them in the comments below. Let me know how you did in the comments below as well. And if you like this video, please give it a like and a subscribe. That would be fantastic. I'm trying to get back in the habit of doing two or three quizzes a week now. Um, life has got a bit more under control. Um, so yeah, anything you see which looks interesting, send it my way and uh, we'll have some fun. Until next time, kakete anō. Bye.